who joins us on the phone line from Shanghai. Hi, James. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, any fresh news coming in? Why exactly are we seeing such a sharp downtick on the Shanghai markets? Well, I mean, the, the Shanghai market, uh, you know, it, it does, does tend to be, uh, you know, volatile anyway, but the uh, the recent news on GDP numbers um, have certainly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, certainly impacted confidence, even though they are above what were projected to be, uh, was the official projection of 6.8% at 6.9%, it still is below a kind of magic number of 7%. has sort of a psychological impact on a lot of people's uh, in a lot of people's minds, and so I think that that has that has an a, an effect, uh, you know, on, on the performance of, of the market. It's very it tends to be a very sentiment driven market, um, you know, it's liable to kind of swings like this, in spite of the types of measures that the government took, um, you know, after the uh, after the sharp decrease in the market earlier this year. But James, the GDP news was known. Uh, anything fresh? Any fresh developments which could have which could have resulted in this four percent cut that we're seeing? Well, I mean, this is. I think it, these these things sort of in the China market tend to snowball from from activity. Um, you know, earlier in the day, people tend to be very sort of high frequency traders. Uh, you know, even the even your retail investors uh, tend to monitor. Uh, you know, movements in the market very closely, and so a lot of times there can be, uh, you know, sell-offs that, uh, you know, that, that spiral, uh, you know, and affect each other. It's not necessarily the, you know, the impact of any big, um, you know, any big uh, event during the during the day or new or or news item. I think it's it's sometimes something, you know, it's something that you see. Uh, pretty commonly, uh, you know, in the uh, in in the Shanghai Stock Exchange. All right, uh, James. But uh, what do you think? What's the impact on uh, you know on India? Because uh, in the past we have seen every time China gives a rude uh, shock, we do see a bit of a knee-jerk reaction on the Indian markets. Now, from the emerging markets uh, basket, we're definitely most attractive, as per what experts say. What's your take? What's the impact on India? China underperforming, see more money move towards India, or do you think, in fact, uh, the Indian markets as well will follow suit and move lower? Well, I think people are definitely looking for other places to put their money uh, aside from China, and 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 a lot of investors are getting cold feet um, about it. With the downturn in the market, India could could uh, you know uh, could benefit in some ways from that. Um, the, uh, but overall, you know, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't see the, the the Shanghai Stock Exchange as that indicative of of the overall uh, economy. It really is, you know, the, the percentage of people. Uh, you know, of capital allocated to uh, to, uh, to equities here is, is far lower than in other markets like Japan or the United States. Um, it uh, it doesn't always uh, you know it doesn't always reflect the general state of the economy here. Uh, you know, growth here is lower, but it is transitioning into sort of a different stage as the economy restructures here to be more focused on services uh, and away from sort of investment-led growth. Okay, James, we'll leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in. By the way, some important statements from the Hero Motor.